Hello everyone and welcome back to This Day in History, our nightly look back at a specific day in history where we take a look back at the events of that day, the historic context in which they took place, and the historic ramifications of those events. As always, if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and tell a friend. And without any further ado, this day in history, March the 24th. And on this day, in 1989, the Exxon Valdez oil spill occurred in Prince William Sound, Alaska. The ship, a tanker, ran aground after making contact with a reef near the Sound. It would spill 10.8 million gallons of crude oil in the coming days. Um, there were many factors that led to this event occurring. Many of them were cost-cutting measures by Exxon and cost-cutting measures by the United States Coast Guard. Uh, the cleanup effort was very um, shoddy as well. Uh, the chemical that was used in the cleanup was... A very new chemical and highly toxic. Uh, the chemical is even banned in some countries, although it is still allowed to be used in the United States, um, even though the EPA uh, notes that it is a very dangerous uh, cleaner. Um, the spill was really an ecological bomb uh, for marine life in the area. But studies have estimated between 100,000 and 250,000 seabirds were killed. Uh, bald eagles uh, were another animal that was very hard hit by the spill, killing uh, 247. And 22 orcas were killed. Orcas, like the huge whales that... The massive, massive whales uh, that you see out in the ocean. Um, and an unknown number of salmon and herring. Um, studies have suggested that it may take up to, uh, last year was the, thir as this has been recorded, 30 year anniversary uh, for some of the oil to totally bis dissipate from the shoreline. Uh, the Exxon. Valdez oil spill uh, led to some reform, uh, but not really enough, because less than 11 years later, uh, the Deep Horizons oil well would um, occur, uh, the spill there in the Gulf of Mexico, and um, Exxon would sue uh, many of the companies and even the state of Alaska uh, that would uh, try to uh, rein in this event from ever happening again. And also, um, Exxon fought um, actions passed by the federal government um, that were passed in response uh, to this. So... Um, This is one of those events where you look at it and say, wow, you know, we say never again, but often <clears throat> in this case, it's going to continue to occur. Um, you know, you look at this and you look at what, the fact that the radar on the ship hadn't been turned on for a year, uh, the crew... Uh, was not adequately rested uh, because it was cheaper for Exxon uh, to do that. Um, it just really uh, infuriates you. Um, it's kind of like when you read the documents that say that Exxon Mobil um, and other fossil fuel companies knew about the effects of climate change in the early 90s and late 70s. Uh, and instead of doing something about it and possibly helping save the planet, 
No, what did they do? They went out and funded these think tanks that and scientists that pushed out crap science that said, oh, humans aren't to blame for global warming. There's no scientific consensus on that. Even though 99% of scientists agree that, yeah, the climate change is real and humans are having a significant contribution to it, uh, particularly with fossil fuels. Um, it just really... It's one of those things that that infuriates you. Um, but I guess it proves once again that uh, money talks, um, and particularly this uh, type of event. Um, hmm. You know, this is one of those things where instead of realizing at the time that we need to make bold, drastic change and that you are given the perfect opportunity to at that time and that the crunch will be less severe later, America has increasingly chose the quick fix, the, oh, we're going to not you know, totally kill this industry or make them reform significantly. No, we're going to take the least painful route. Absolutely. Mm. And it can, it happened after Deep Horizon 2. Births that occurred on this day. In 1976, in New Orleans, Louisiana, Peyton Manning was born. Uh, Manning is the son of former NFL quarterback and Ole Miss standout Archie Manning. He is the older brother of former NFL quarterback for the New York football giants, Eli Manning. Eli went also to the University of Mississippi. Manning, uh, unlike his father... Uh, went to the University of Tennessee um, to play and became a beloved uh, figure at the University of Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee has a scholarship named after him. They've retired his jersey. Um, there is a lot of children that were born uh, during the time Manning was quarterback at Tennessee uh, that were named Peyton. There's a lot of uh, people in their early to mid-twenties running around the state of Tennessee, uh, boys and girls that are named Peyton, uh, because Peyton's one of those names you can uh, interchange. Uh, Manning would play uh, in the NFL as well, most notably for uh, the Indianapolis Colts. He's really known uh, for transforming uh, the Colts from a doormat of the NFL uh, to a contender every year. He even won a Super Bowl with them. Um, many believe that Manning is responsible for the Colts staying in Indianapolis. Some have even said that without Peyton coming to the Colts, the Colts most likely would have moved to Los Angeles. Um, that Peyton Manning was responsible for Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, the stadium that was built while Manning was a player, where the Colts play, um, that Manning is responsible for the Super Bowl being um, in Indianapolis um, after they moved to Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, he is. Uh, he would also win a Super Bowl with the Denver Broncos uh, in Super Bowl Fifty. Um, and he would announce his retirement shortly after uh, Super Bowl 50 in March of 2016. Uh, so um, Manning is not yet in the Hall of Fame because he's not been eligible. He will be eligible next year as this video is being recorded um, in 2021. Deaths that occurred on this day. 
Queen Elizabeth I died in 1603 at the age of 69 in Surrey, England. Um, Elizabeth was the Queen of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland. Um, she was known as the Virgin Queen as she, mar she never married and ruled for 44 years on the throne. Um, her period of r rule is known as the Elizabethan era. And uh, William Shakespeare um, and many other prominent artisans uh, were active during that time. And her father was Henry VIII. And um, her mother uh, was a Killed by her father um, when Elizabeth was only uh, three. Uh, so that is all. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. And good night.